The third performance metric is Jensen's Alpha, which determines portfolio's expected excess return over its theoretical expected return. For a full reference, again, I recommend that you read Michael Jensen, The Performance of Mutual Funds in the period of 1945 to 1964. It was published in the Journal of Finance in 1968. As a formula, the Jensen's alpha for the portfolio is equal to its arithmetic mean, the arithmetic mean of its historical returns, minus, and this inside this curvy brackets, the expected return or arithmetic mean of the risk-free rate of return. Again, remember, this is the one-year treasury bill plus the portfolio beta multiplied by the market risk premium. This market risk premium is equal to the market's expected return or arithmetic mean minus the risk-free rates expected return or arithmetic mean. For our exercise, the market is the stocks asset class, as you remember, is the one that includes all the stocks within the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, and Amex indexes in evaluated that aggregates returns as opposed to an equal weighted, which is the arithmetic mean. Great, so with all these formulas, let's go and practice them within our Excel file. So by clicking on it, here we are. This is our first portfolio. This is named the size portfolio. We're doing exactly the same for style and momentum portfolios, but I'll explain briefly the size one. So if I scroll down below the risks part, we have our performance. First, we have Jensen's Alpha. As you remember, this is the excess return against its theoretical value. And as a formula, this one says for the assets, so I'm going to go to the end where we have the portfolio. In our next lecture, we'll see how we calculated this portfolio because this is done through several processes of comparing the naive against both the Kelly Criterion and the Markowitz portfolio. But how do we calculate this Jensen's Alpha? Well, we double click on it, we can see that it is equal to, right over here, the arithmetic mean, we'll see it here above, minus the arithmetic mean of the risk-free rate of return, which as you remember is a one-year treasury bill, minus N29, which is our beta right over here, the beta coefficient that we calculated in our previous lecture. This is part of our capital asset pricing model that we'll analyze at the end of this section. And this is multiplied by the market risk premium Market risk premium is cons consists of stocks, average, arithmetic return, or the mean, minus, again, the risk-free rate of return in its mean, the arithmetic mean of its returns. So I press the escape key. And we can see with this Jensen's alpha coefficient that the excess return of this portfolio compared to its theoretical expectation, which is 